Dave Brusso of the Sun Sentinel Sports, sitting here with Daryl Shore, your coach of the Fort Lauderdale Strikers. Coach, you're getting closer to preseason, wrapping up. Uh, let's take a look at the midfield this week. Uh, we talked about the defenders and goalkeepers last week, uh, attacking mids, defensive mids, and so forth. Uh, how are you putting that together to get ready for this upcoming season? Well, we're, we're just progressing along, just uh, like we did with the defenders and the goalkeepers. Um, you know, Pekka is back from last year, and we feel with another year of playing in this country, he's adapting more and more. So it's been good to have him back. He's he's had a, a solid preseason. Uh, Rubens Pinheiro, who we just brought in from Brazil, uh, just got in about a week and a half ago. So still trying to work him a little bit into match fitness and also getting comfortable with our team. But so far, we like what we've seen from Rubens. Uh, Manny Gonzalez has had a really solid preseason for us. He's a player who's a, a local player who trained with us all last year as a practice player, and we signed him. So we've been pleased with those three guys as far as our defensive midfielders go. As far as the attack in midfield, uh, you know, a lot of guys that are familiar uh, to our fans, uh, Walter, Mark, uh, Osman, uh, all three of them, Darnell, uh, all have had pretty good preseasons. Uh, Mark is dealing with a little bit of a quad strain right now, but should not be any issues. Uh, Osman, uh, we gave him a week off. He had a, uh, his grandmother passed away, so he's been gone for a week, but we were pleased at, at his progress uh, up to now in preseason. And Walter has been progressing quite nicely, and we just got word yesterday that he's been cleared to participate in full contact. He played 30 minutes against FAU. Uh, we're going to play a game on Saturday, an inter-squad game for our last game, and uh, he's been cleared to play a full half. So we're, we're really pleased with where Walter is, and we're hoping that he could, could be available in some form on April 6th. Now, obviously, the preseason is about getting familiar with all the players and get more selectively on the field as well for them. Uh, how difficult has it been them being confident with each other, uh, understanding what they do with moves on the field, uh, obviously with all the changes in the roster compared to last year? Uh, it's a big thing in making sure that you have the success for the team. How difficult has that been to get these guys to work together as a team? Uh, a little bit less difficult than you might imagine, only because all the guys that we've brought in are good soccer players, and, and they enjoy not only being technical, but they all have enjoyed sharing the ball. And, and when you have a lot of good soccer players, uh, it makes it easier for them to gel. Uh, you know, I should have mentioned the recent signing also of Carlos Salazar, who's a, another attacking type midfielder who I think our fans are going to really enjoy. But when you take guys like Carlos and Walter and Mark and add them to Rubens and, and Pekka, we're going to have a pretty good problem on our hands because not all of them can be on the field at the same time. So it creates healthy but competi you know healthy competition uh, in practice, uh, but that's a good thing to have. And we feel like we've put, to, put together a pretty solid midfield and we like the way that they're all coming together so far. Obviously, with about a week and a half left, we were over you know, with uh, SE Edmonton. What is left to be done with this team getting prepared for that home opener? We still have some things that we feel we need to work on. Uh, we haven't really worked on set pieces quite a bit, so we, we've talked about it as a staff, and we'll start working on that later this week and into next week. Uh, we're still trying to find our true identity as to how we're going to play defensively as well as offensively, but really now it's uh, more about just fine-tuning everything. Uh, the players' fitness level is very good, uh, just getting rid of some bumps and bruises that they've gotten through the preseason, but we're pretty pleased overall with where we're at right now, and uh, we're happy uh, that we've you know progressed so far this preseason, but we also know that we've got another week and a half to go before that big day, but I think the guys now are just ready to, to get you know, that week before the first game practice going so we can get into our daily season routine of what we work on in training sessions and everything. But guys are excited. You, you can tell it's getting closer because they're all starting to get a little antsy. Great, Coach. This is uh, Dave Brousseau, the Sun Sentinel, sitting here with Coach Joel Short.